joining us now. Ben Reitz is Managing Director and Head of Tech Research at Melius Research. Ben, great to have you with us. Hey, it's great to be here on this nice new set. Thanks oh, well, for thank, having thank me. Thank you. Oh. I'm glad you enjoy it. We do, too. Um, so this is basically another uh, Would You Rather, which is a game that we like to play here on Fast yeah. Money. You played it back in October on your own, which is fine. You've got to Microsoft. <laughs> Without asking, by the way. Ben, yeah. she still talks about it. Over Alphabet. But at this point, given the run that Microsoft has had, you still like that one. Well, today, Google made up quite a bit of uh, right. some performance. But, yeah, we do like it. Um, Microsoft has much higher margins than Google, but next year their EPS growth should be relatively similar, but I think Microsoft has more upside. And I think Microsoft's revenue growth should eclipse Google as well. So um, I think that they are making a lot of the right moves and probably outperform. Uh, Google, though, near term, probably uh, makes up a little bit of the performance. Uh, their cloud business probably a little better than last quarter, which was an, a miss. But uh, over the long term, Microsoft has the goods, in our opinion. The goods in terms of AI and monetizing AI, actually showing revenue from AI? Yeah, they do a really good job of telling you exactly what they're doing in Azure. And that's where people are laser focused. And last quarter was super impressive. Also, they have a lot of levers over the long term. They've got a relationship with Google. They've got a relationship with CoreWeave. They've got relationships with NVIDIA that the others do as well. But they push these levers to manage the expectations, in my opinion, better than the other major clouds. Hey, Ben, last night on this desk, 24 hours ago, we had Gemini came out. Yeah. We were just kind of reading some headlines and the reviews. We had AMD. Lisa Sue was just on the network yep. talking about the chips that they just you know, announced and talking about big TAMs and stuff. And, and I'll be honest, I was like a little dismissive. Based on what I was reading before anything, the stocks weren't moving. Who cares? Aftermarket, that sort of thing. To see the sort of moves that we saw in today's action in both of those names, this is real market cap here. What is it saying about investor sentiment or psychology, right? Because let's be frank, NVIDIA has gone sideways for the better yep. part of the last few months or so. Are they looking for new ways to pay, uh, play these trends as they go into 2024? Well, yeah, absolutely. I mean, AMD, people don't want to miss what, if that's the next NVIDIA. And even if it's a mini NVIDIA, mm -hmm. you don't want to miss that. Um, Lisa sound, Dr. Lisa Sue sounded really good last night. Um, at their event, and she upped that TAM. And n nobody knows what's even in that TAM. Mm -hmm. But if she's upping it, then the logic is they must feel good. So they had their good day today, and it digested, and people feel good. I, I think NVIDIA is still a winner. I mean, it's trading at less than 20 times uh, our 20 calendar 25 estimate. And so it's starting to be a would you rather NVIDIA under 20 uh, or Google under 20. You know that there, there's oh, a very, very one. similar valuations, and you're like, you're like, what? What's going on? And um, you know, I'll, I'll pick Nvidia right now. It's a second derivative. Would you rather trade? By the way, I like what he did there. I mean, it's very, yeah. second derivative. How about Apple? And and how about yeah. their foray into in AI? Or you know, will Siri ever be someone that's that's useful? I mean, what, what's going on here? Because it seems like you know they're kind of being left in the dust. Dan had point is says you know Apple's days of being the most important company in the world are over. Um, how are you? You know, I think Apple's perking up. I think that, in fact, the, so they have the iPhone kind of flattish, um, but the upgrade was solid. It, we, we all know that there's the China headwinds a little bit, but th I think they're plugging along. It, when they come out of this quarter where they're anniversary a tough comp because there was an extra week a year ago, they're going to be growing potentially in the mid-singles. So if Apple's growing in the mid-single digits, the stock's not going down. And I know you could say it's expensive, it's this. I go to a bunch of meetings around the country. Nobody likes it that when I'm walking in the meeting, they're like, oh, I'm underweight. I got to catch up. If they're not going to miss, I got to buy more. So anyway, I feel decent about their revenues inflecting uh, and going up because Macs, iPads, wearables all going to grow. But here's the key. Next year at their WWDC in June, I think they're going to unveil some AI initiatives. And I think they're working on their own chat GPT-like thing where they're going to come out with new services and native apps that cater to AI. I don't know what they are yet, but they're not going to just sit this thing out. And I think that services is what drives Apple. And if people have an aha moment that AI is going to have an ARPU lift like Microsoft has mm -hmm. and Adobe, I'm not going to say it's that magnitude of greatness to the EPS, but people are going to go, wow. So that stock, in my, we have a buy on mm -hmm. it. It's... It's tough to, like, say it's going to double or something, but I think it works. I think it works, and I think that when they come out growing the revenue and then you start hearing the AI stuff, 
you know, the ding, ding, you know, mm -hmm. it, it'll start marching up. And then uh, eventually, uh, a lot more AI is going to be done on the edge, on your phone. And they have their own silicon, one of the world's largest chip companies, right? So I think they're good. Just quickly, uh, what is your highest conviction buy right now? Ooh, uh, I got to say, uh, I, I really like, um, I like this uh, company, uh, Amcor, that's doing packaging, for advanced packaging for AI, but obviously Microsoft might be the safer bet.